Mike Hallett is alongside me. He has made it in, <laughs> like Neil Robertson. Thank you, David. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Trials and tribulations of a snooker player. It's, a, it's the first time, actually, I think. He's, he's been very close to not being uh, there on time for a match. I think it's the first time for Neil Robertson. There's been one or two incidents with him. But anyway, let's concentrate on this one. It's a quality match between these two, former world champion. Yes, and we don't know the exact reason he hasn't turned up. He could be ill for all we know, so we'll, uh, we'll let mm. you know what we hear. But, uh, well, it's, it's a good opportunity for Alex Borg. As I say, he's had a fine amateur career down the years. He's back on the professional tour. Of course, Tony Drago is Malta's uh, greatest ever player. But uh, Alex Borg, as well, uh, he's had a long snooker career, and uh, this is a rare appearance on television for him. Red and I'm looking with the cannon. Four, four, Sean Murphy, one, well, <laughs> he's nominated the yellow, but uh, he's not hit it. Alex, and that's a free ball. But uh, he's going to put him in, I suspect, from where it is, because obviously it's now snookered. So suddenly he's in a bit of trouble here. Well, this is a chance for Alex Borg. Be interesting to see how he goes on here. He's a very experienced player, but uh, he's not had that much time on the TV table down the years, so it's a slightly alien concept for him. 44 years of age, Alex. And uh, he's won the European Amateur title on two occasions, 2005 and 2006. Well, it was a fine shot, a little bit thinner than intended, but hasn't left anything on.
Well, Tepchara Nu uh, has been awarded the first frame against Neil Robertson, and uh, if Robertson turns up, that match uh, will get underway, but it uh, could be very costly, whatever has happened, whether he's just overslept or what. Alex, you all here noticed, plays a slightly more measured pace than his good friend Tony Drago, who has not uh, slowed down at all down the years. Still as quick as he ever was. Yeah, Tony got beat yesterday, unfortunately, so he's hoping his compatriot might go a little bit further, but he's got... Uh, well, he's up against one of the best players in the game. So a tough encounter here for the man from Malta. Yes, and Murphy is one of those people, he gives everyone the same amount of respect. It doesn't matter whether he's playing the world number one or playing someone well down the world ranking list, he will play the correct way. Won't take liberties. Again, a little bit on the thin side. It's come back down the table and... If it keeps rolling, Sean's got a possible pot on here, the one that's nearest the pink. Might just clip off this for safety, just wait for a better chance. Well, this is a chance. If Alex can knock this in and get onto the black, there's a few reds waiting here. Not this time. Might have left Sean a red on here if it hasn't uh, nestled on that other red. I think this one is on. I can tell you that Robertson has now turned up, so he's on table two against Tepchar and New, but uh, he was docked the first frame, so uh, started off one nil down. <coughs> and no doubt still rubbing sleep out of his eyes. Yeah, for those at home, the rule is that if you're not there to play at the uh, required time, the first frame Seven. is awarded against you, and I believe it's every 15 minutes after that. Yeah, it seems he was just a few minutes late, but uh, that's enough. Well, I think Sean was hoping to be on this pink to the centre. He might have to do, take it to the corner now. Yes, you don't need a frame awarded against you, David, in these best of sevens, <laughs> do you? Not in the sprints. Absolutely. He's taking it to the centre. Well played. Well, he did pretty well last week in the previous event in uh, Doncaster, the European Tour 3 event there. Got to the semis, lost Four to Ricky Walden, the eventual winner. So uh, he's had plenty of snooker in the last week or so. Forced to change this queue this year, Sean Murphy. The other one broke. This is a new queue. And he seems to have settled into it very well, actually.
point if you want. Never in doubt. <laughs> yeah, somebody must have opened the door somewhere. Point here. Just there, it looked a little bit wide. And then gravity took over. Don't think he's got the angle to stay on the black here. He can go down for the pink or the blue. Oh, that was a big bounce. Point nine. Played on the blue to the centre, but he'll have to take it to the corner. It's not bad if it's straight because there was a loose red there to the right corner pocket. John Murphy, one of those players, if he starts to find his rhythm, he can become a handful. 34. Can't give him table time, that is for sure. Alex Borg will get chances, it's just a question whether he can take them. Drop this red in, leave himself a good angle on the black to split the remaining reds. And uh, it's not this shot, it's the next one that will count. Probably giving himself a chance to win the frame. And it's going to touch high, if anything. He's still got a slight angle on this black to nudge something open. Just possibly power into these reds. A little uh, a stun shot. You can sort of contact the two reds to the left of the bunch would be perfect. Caught them well. Well, it's not bad. 50. Great goes to 50. Can you keep it going here? If you can just pop this red in and get good position all of a sudden becomes a good chance to win the frame. I think he's taken this to the corner. Well played. Right side of the blue. Had a chance now to clinch the frame. Well, he's hit the ground running, hasn't he? He's played so well in this break. Queuing so nicely. Yes, a few warning signs for that man then. 56. 48 the lead, just a couple of more reds with colours will be enough to leave Alex needing snookers. I was talking yesterday actually with Phil Yates, uh, David, about players this season, you know, players that probably didn't have too good a season last year, not as consistent as the norm. This is probably another player here, Sean Murphy. It'll be interesting to see how his season pans out this year. I'm sure you want to be lifting titles once more. Yeah, I think that's the, the point, isn't it? You know, he is very consistent. You see him in a lot of quarterfinals, semis, finals, but uh, he didn't win a title last season. And that's what you want as a top player, certainly as a world champion as he's been, is to be taking home trophies. Law of averages, you feel he's going to win one sooner rather than later. Might be this week. As with all the competition around these days at two, three, four trophies in the season, you've had a marvellous season, really, if it accumulates with the World Championship as well. And Bonnie only won one title last year, didn't he? Which <laughs> one was that? Yeah, it's uh, amazing, wasn't it? To win the World Championship after a year out. Well, Sean Murphy gives £100 to the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital for every century break he makes. So let's hope he makes one here. 
Oh. I should have kept my mouth shut. Sean Murphy, 71. 71, though. Sorry. Alex Board's going to play on, I think, to get a bit of table time. Can't blame him, really. No, because he wasn't Long. expecting to be playing on television. He had no time to prepare for this at all. Literally just minutes. And the match was switched. <coughs> yes, he had 33 centuries last season, did, uh, Sean. So that's 3,300 pounds that went to that charity. Nine. Well, good angle on the blue here to push into the pink and loosen the red. Oh, he's missed it by a mile. I think that might have been called a wider Four. cricket. <laughs> Sitting the ashes is on in the, in the UK. I'm sure there'll be a concession, is that? Oh, he's Four. doing the gentlemanly Four. thing, allowing Sean to come back to the table. Well, he may uh, stay in his seat this time. Frame Sean Murphy. He does. So it was a good 71, nice break from Sean Murphy, which uh, secured this opening frame. First of four will reach the last 64 here in Germany. Sean Murphy leads Alex Borg by one frame to nil.